lovies. Welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you all so very much. So today's video is a bit of a mix up. It was just something I you know, decided to toss together um, for you guys. So I had an order and then um, I had found some cool stuff at Michael's and just some stuff, just random, but yeah, so it's only three projects, but still I wanted to come on and, you know, see if I can offer you guys some type of inspiration. So, um, with that being said, I'm not going to keep rambling. We're just going to go ahead and jump into this video. So we're going to start with the very first item today. So I found this beautiful farmhouse truck at Michael's. It was part of the summer or spring summer, um, you know, items that they're clearing out. And it was like tucked way back on the shelf at the top and I almost missed it. And I was kind of, you know, almost heartbroken by it. But <laughs> um, nonetheless, it was, I forget how much it was off. I want to say 60%, but I could be completely wrong about that. So we're not going to go into the whole numbers thing. Nonetheless, I got it for $8 and I felt like that was a great deal. Um, it's a pretty good size truck and when I saw it, I instantly knew what I wanted to do with it and that was I wanted to create something to hold my crafting tools in. I thought this would be really cute. Even though I don't have a lot of space, I really felt like I could incorporate this some kind of way. Um, but as we go further into this project you guys will see <laughs> that didn't quite work out so I had this idea to get some little mini tools so I went to Amazon and I found these darling little mini tools and they are mini mini they should have put micro not mini <laughs> but nonetheless they were still super cute like they were all the things that we use during our crafting well if you're a heavy duty crafter you have some sort of tools you know <laughs> in this pile here but they were super cute and they really worked and everything i couldn't find any in pink pink if you guys have not already guessed is my favorite color so red was fine you know i felt like that would still you know match up pretty well with the pink truck so, it also came with two um, toolboxes. They open. It's all functional, but guys, I just really didn't know <laughs> how I was going to get them on the truck because they were so tiny and I just didn't want to risk losing them. And then I was like, do I want to glue them on? So, yeah, that was the whole thing. So, anyway, I removed the flowers from the back of the truck. The flowers were beautiful, good quality, of course, coming from Michael's. But it was just a bit much for me. So I knew I did not want to keep those on there. I was thinking maybe one flower, maybe a butterfly, something. You guys will see. I'm just playing around with all kinds of ideas. But one thing I did know for sure is that I wanted to cover the truck with all different types of saying. Like, first of all, I wanted to put, you know, Craft Away with May, Crafty Slay by May, um, things like that. And also little um, affirmations and quotes that I love to say to myself or I have jotted down somewhere. And also I just wanted to put different little things like scissors, tape, you know, glue gun, things like that. Because this is really what I wanted for my crafting um, materials. So that's literally all I did was I went in on my Cricut Joy and I printed out all types of different um little you know words and things like that and I just really just went overloaded all over the truck and you guys will see I at first thought maybe it was a bit much but I really like the way it turned out um, and right here one of the things and I have a notebook that I jot down in um, and it, it it says on there she could so she did and I just love that statement I really do like I don't know why but I I do and I think because for so long I was such well I'm still quite shy believe it or not <laughs> Um, I just never would. I would never do anything outside of my comfort zone. And this being on 
YouTube is way outside of my comfort zone, but it's also my happy place. <laughs> so there I just put let's craft a day away. Crafting is my piece, you know, so I just love that. And and I just want to cover the truck in that. And I I, I don't know what else to say, but I just love this truck and I love the way it was going. Uh, I had a lot of question marks, I'm telling you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. This is what my thought process. So these are like my scissors and my cricket little um tools and things like that. And they're sticking in the styrofoam. I didn't like that green. Um, and then of course when I took out the flowers, I took out a big chunk of the foam. So the smart thing would have been to do, or the smart thing too would have been. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. The smart thing to do would have been to fill in that hole and go from there. But no, not in Maze World. So there I was playing around with the butterfly. I'm telling y'all, I was all over the place. I did kind of like this with the little flowers in the back, but that's not the vibe I wanted. Like that's, I don't know. I just me and my mind we were playing tug of war so here i pour them out again and i'm thinking maybe i could just place them around somewhere and i totally could have omitted all of this but i just wanted to be really real with you guys and show like you know as crafters like we go through all these things it doesn't just come together in the 10 minutes that we're you know showing in our videos like we go through a lot of ups and downs and it takes a lot for our creativity to really come to the surface. So I really want to leave that in there. So, or leave this in here. So here's another genius idea that May had. Um, I decided to paint over the foam. Like that would really cover up that big, you know, hole there. <laughs> and I wasn't trying to cover it up because I knew I was gonna be sticking stuff down in there. So that was no another reason because I'm like, if I keep, you know, if I put stuff in there, I'm constantly pulling it out, it's gonna go back and do the same thing again. So I wasn't really trying to cover it up. I was just trying to make it not look so green, not so like just stand out like a sore thumb. So then I had another genius idea. Yeah, I was all over it today. You got, or this day. I was, you know, the, the ideas were just flowing. So I had, I was like, okay, let's do some decoupage back here. So I had some napkins that I am gonna be doing in a future project, hopefully before the summer ends, um, I can squeeze it in. And I thought it was really cute. So when I laid the napkin up to here, it has like bees and flowers. You can see it here. I think I'm gonna show a closer picture of it. But it really blended well with the truck, even with the wording and everything. So then I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do the butterfly. Let's just do the bow. Cause I remember, you know, that was initial thought. Like I was gonna do the bow. It's gonna be a black, white, and pink themed truck, right? So I was like, mm, I don't know with this decoupage. I don't know if that's gonna work. But it actually worked, you guys. Now the bow itself did not work because, yeah, the ribbon was playing against me. So I was like, you know what? It's late. We're gonna make this work a different way. So I just cut two strips off as you saw there and I just put some little dovetails on them and I thought that was perfect. I think that made this truck look even more dirty y'all. So now I'm going in, <laughs> I'm gluing things down. I decided to put some hot pink rhinestones in the front. I think I'm going to show a front picture. If not, you guys know. Everything will be shown at the end. So I'm going to let that dry, sit it to the side because the napkin was working with me. And then I think because I was tired and I was getting impatient with myself, <laughs> it didn't fully dry. Like I thought it, well, when I thought, when I started touching it, it, I thought it was dry, but it wasn't. So now genius idea number four, which I kind of think I probably shouldn't have done this, but this is something that I can easily fix if it doesn't work because this is tin. So of course I decided to go in with some distressing, right? With the black, because again, I'm thinking black, white, pink. That's what I'm thinking. And so I was like, oh, okay, this is looking good. This is looking cute around the, the tires, you know, because I wanted that rustic little cute country girl feel, you know? 
And so I didn't go in too heavy with it, but I did do some distress distressing on it. So I don't think it took away from the truck itself. But once I show it at the end, you guys just let me know what you think. I still love it. So ultimately what I did was, okay, I was like, I like the decoupage on here. This really works. I don't want to damage it by stabbing it, <laughs> you know, or by poking stuff in there. So I decided to just put the tools on top for now. I didn't glue them down yet because, again, I was not fully committed to this idea. And I wanted to wait a few days to see how I felt about, felt about it when I looked at it again. So far, they're still there, but I'm going to give it another few days, guys, <laughs> and go back and look at it. So all I did was put the two toolbox back there, laid the little tools out because you can see them even if you're looking from the side. And I just laid them out in the toolbox as well. So that's where we were with that one. All right, so the next one. So my niece, actually, she put in order for a, um, like, a vanity. Um, it's a, uh, I can't even think now. Just, like, a little trinket box for her bathroom vanity. Um, and she just re she redid it to the whole black and white theme. I guess that's the what's on trend. You know, I don't know. Because I, my kitchen is black, white, and red. And um, I can't wait for you guys to see the next project. That's my favorite one. But anyway, so she sent me a request and was like, could, ask me, could I make it for her? So, of course, I said I would do it for her. And so, instantly, I thought about these um, little ladders here that I got from Dollar Tree. I was so excited when I found these. Like, I took four. I think I took all of them that day. Because <laughs> I think some says home on them as well. But the only ones we had were the left. So, I, I think I snatched all that was up there. But nonetheless... I knew I could do with this, and this would take a little bit of the legwork out. Of course, you can definitely do this using your tower tumbling box, the wood pieces that um, Dollar Tree carries right now. I just didn't want it that thick, and I just didn't have the patience for the tower tumbling box. Sorry, we still have fireworks over here, even though <laughs> we are three days back past uh, the 4th of July. But they're still popping over here, okay? <laughs> so you may hear an occasional pop. Nonetheless, all right, so I went, I took my heating gun to remove the love signs because I knew I could reuse those somewhere else. However, as you guys saw there, had a little bit of a casualty, you know, one didn't make it. So nonetheless, easy fix can go back, hot glue that together and move forward. So all I did here was I went in with my, um, my glue gun because it was some big chunks of glue still left on there and I just went in with my glue gun and melted that down so I got a smooth surface well not smooth near smooth and then I went in sanded it down and did the wood filler and now I'm just going to go ahead and cover it in black paint so at first I was going to do the ladder in or ladders in the color black and then the trays themselves um, the trays in white but I decided against that because I just, I couldn't visualize it to where I was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. And I didn't know if she really wanted that much white in her, you know, in her bathroom, especially with the water and things like that. So anyway, so I decided to cover everything in black. But what I'm going to do, and you'll see that coming up in a few seconds or, or minutes here, I am going to use some of the wallpaper from Dollar Tree. And guys, I got to tell you, I am really feeling the, wall, the, the wallpaper. I am feeling everything about Dollar Tree right, <laughs> right now. And I never thought I'd be the person to say that. Like, I'm, I was never anti-Dollar Tree. Don't, don't think that. It was just that. I was like, you know, I look at the things that a lot of crafters would get from there. And I just wasn't getting that in my store. So, I was like, you know... I don't know. I, I don't know if I should, uh, you know, if I have the same level of love as everybody else, you know, <laughs> until recently, the last few months, they have been killing the game with their items. And so I, you know, I just love going and, and browsing some days, but I do try to control that y'all because you know, you go in there for one thing, you come out with 50. So anyway, so I chose this wallpaper and when I got this wallpaper, I honestly didn't know what I'd do with it. But it's white and silver. And so I thought that would tie in really nicely here with the all black in that she wanted the white. So this would give that little touch of white when not, you know, without it being too overpowering. And so all I did was trace it out on the back and cut it out. 
in you know slide it in here t you cut away the excess I use my exact exact exacto knife <laughs> and by all means you can use a cutting knife whatever you you know sharp tool you have to to size that down and I just went in and pressed it down to make sure it was fully you know flat and it's very forgiving and I, I, I will mention that if you haven't already worked with it I used it in one other project and it has held up very nicely but it is very forgiving in the sense that if you need to readjust it it does not pull away it doesn't um, damage your uh, project so I really like that and if it doesn't adhere you know securely like it did initially you can definitely go in with some Mod Podge or some crazy glue or something and just tack it down and it will stick so I really like that about the wallpaper I haven't tried it on any real you know big services yet so you know that verdict is still out we don't know yet <laughs> but nonetheless so as you know with Dollar Tree items they do have their downside where their wooden pieces are not all created equal and I found that out with these trays or boxes <laughs> so I did not realize one of the boxes was maybe like a half an inch um, smaller than the others and I never had paid attention to that I didn't know they come in different sizes so I had two that were roughly I want to say probably about four maybe six inches and the other one may have been about three or four inches somewhere along there like they were not even nonetheless but um so I tried doing them at an angle because the picture she sent me for reference that's how they were um designed so I tried that but it just would not work like it just kept popping loose you know, I glued it, I put some crazy glue on it, I put, <laughs> I went in with my Gorilla Glue, and Gorilla Glue, it, ta it gets tacky, but the secure hole doesn't happen for like 30 minutes, and the way that the little trays were set up, I didn't have a way to clamp them, so, I was like, okay, we're gonna just X this completely, so I just went in, removed them, and, you know, the crazy glue, I'm not crazy glue, but the hot glue, like, it was just not adhering so it was really easy to remove so I just changed the position of them and just you know did them flat or horizontally horizontally and that was it so then once I did all that I was like it needs something on the top because this actually if you flip it over it could work either way but I I'm assuming she wants to put something down in the tray so I still felt like the top needed something I did put beads on the bottom for feet um, for them um, the very dark wooden beads that they have at Dollar Tree so that looked gorgeous on there and I didn't think it would but it blended well so I was going to go in with the little dowels from Dollar Tree in the crafter square um, cut those down I started painting them in dark brown I don't know why I didn't just go with black you guys I don't know like <laughs> it was literally after the fact where I was like duh you could have just did black <laughs> but I edged that in the middle and I decided to go with this pearl ribbon that Dollar Tree carries um, it's silver but it says pearl ribbon on it so I just cut it down in strips of two and I used that and it actually works because as you can see here and I'm gonna give you guys a better shot um, of this I don't know I zoomed in for a reason but then I couldn't remember why um, but you'll see that it will match the little embellishments that I'm putting on the front to mimic like drawers or you know like hinges for, or handles for drawers um, but there it is and it ended up coming together very nicely very you know chic not too you know glim you know glam glitzy but just I think it was pretty nice um, in the end so of course you guys will see it all put together at the end so next we're going to be using mature majority of all Dollar Tree items on this particular project so if you watch my previous video um, I had mentioned of that I wanted to do like a paper plate holder because yes in my house we use paper plates I don't like doing dishes unless I absolutely have to so <laughs> so nonetheless it's something I really did want to do for some time now uh, because just having that big old hunky bag of paper plates you know it can be a little bit annoying so the original thought I had was I was going to use the oval planks from Dollar Tree 
but I was like, oh, it's going to be a little bit too tiny. It'll be cute, but it'll be too tiny. So I'm going to use this sushi plank that I got from um, Daiso. That's the long plank there. You see, and it's about 12 inches and all the rest are the little, um, they're the palettes, like the little mini palette. They're not the mini palettes from Dollar Tree. So they have ones that are a little bit more oblong and then they have ones that are full square. So I'm going to just, um, as you can see here, I was going to do this initially in red and white and then with black lettering. So, but I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> God, I'm telling you guys, like it was so many ups and downs this day and I was just all over the place. You know, I was feeling one, I was thinking one thing, but feeling another. So I was like, you know what, when I go to transition, my colors out for fall, I want to have something that I can transition over to. So I was like, nope, I'm going to stain these, do the whitewash, which is what you see me doing here. And it was aggressive, guys. It was aggressive, especially on this cutting board. This cutting board I got from Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, from Daiso for $1.75. And then I'm going to be using the smaller, chunky um, cutting boards from Dollar Tree. And that's kind of the inspiration. So I was like, oh, I want to do a play on the cutting board. Oh, as well as with the little palettes here. So I'm just going in. And the reason I'm going so aggressive on there is because that's where the lettering is going to go. So on my Cricut, I'm going to rewind just a little bit here. On my Cricut, I put it out. It says, roses are red. Tacos are delicious. I... Use paper plates because I don't, I hate to do dishes, something like that, but you guys will see it. So I thought it was super cute. It was in the Cricut design space, already ready to go. And that's one of the things I love about using my Cricut, you know, because sometimes if you get choked up for words, you can always go there, play around with different things and see what pops up for you. And they have thousands on top of thousands on top of thousands of images and suggestions and things like that. So it's a really cool, cool tool to invest in if you are a Cricut user and I'm not being sponsored by them I don't know that I ever will be but I'm just saying Cricut you know it's bomb y'all it's bomb check it out <laughs> very affordable too so there it is and yes I love the way it came together it was so just pretty to me like I really just really 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 like this I'm so glad I decided to do the stain opposed to painting it white um, and then I do go in with some more distressing here with the black paint because I wanted to have this vision of like a burnt type of distressing to add to it, if that makes sense. I don't know. That's, again, I'm telling y'all, my brain was all over the place. Like it was so wired and just charged for craft, for crafting. Like I was just going full throttle here. So it worked out though. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should put some of the black on the, the rest of it. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. On these little chunky cutting boards, I hope I can find more of these. Um, because one thing I am learning and loving about them is, um, so here in particular, I moved the, you know, the um, scan tag or sticker off of it and it it pulls the wood a little bit or if you're using like your weeding tool it'll do a little stick here and there but for some reason I don't know if they tried to cover it up or whatever but when I removed the sticker it had like all these little nicks and crannies in it and when I put the stain on it it was so gorgeous you guys like it looked so just farmhouse to me and I made sure to put those facing outward because I wanted those to be seen and I didn't want to do any um heavy distressing on them so those I kind of left as it's kind of sore but most of the distressing was on the palettes in the bigger cutting board so here I'm playing around with it I went in with some of the macrame rope added some beads to it I really like that look but right when I was wrapping up here I remember I had picked up these little vine of grapes two packets from um Daiso and some crafting cord and it's the crafting cord is kind of it has a texture of suede or leather but it's not I don't know the material um, and because a lot of their verbiage is in um, it's in Japanese I don't I you know I don't it doesn't they don't always put the interpretation of what it is on there so all I'm doing here is I'm just tying it off using that crafting cord and letting the grapes hang and guys guys 
and girls. But guys, when I tell y'all that this came together so beautiful in the final hour, <laughs> I'm literally telling you that because I had actually cut off my camera and I had walked away and something just told me to look over and I remember I had the grapes and I came back and I started the recording. So, the here it all is, you guys. Um, here's the truck. I'm telling you it was a bit much and we're not done here. And if I need to remove the distressing from here, I definitely would, guys. But I really still like the way it came together. I love it. I love it without the flowers. I love it without the butterfly. I like the sayings on it. It really captured craft, you know, crafting for me. And it makes me smile. Even looking at it now, even though I know <laughs> I haven't set everything in stone. I like it. And even my son, he was like, Mom, you did that? He's like, that's really cool. My mom came by <laughs> earlier in the week. And she's like, oh, that's a cute truck. So, yeah. So, I'm selling it. <laughs> but here it is, guys. I mean, like, it's really cute. And that sign, it's a huge tag that in the back, in, in front of, I guess, in front of the truck. You know, it, it says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord I love that saying. I've had that for quite some time. It, it's a huge, like, it's shaped like a tag. I got it from Big Lots a few years ago. Um, and I love it. I love it. I love it. But this is it from both sides. You know, if you guys have this, and you also can do this with the wooden trucks from Dollar Tree. I, you know, even though it just has the one side of the, you know, truck, you can add a crate to the middle part. I've done that. I didn't take a picture of it, but I've done that and created you know made it look like a truck like this and you can paint it whatever color you want and so i just love that like i i love it i love it i love it i i you know it's you know i hope you guys got inspired from it. it's just something fun to share with you at the end of the day and i love pink so it definitely made me smile <laughs> and here is the um little trinket holder or tray or I guess it could be like a tear tray uh, for my, my niece's vanity. I think it came out very chic, very sleek, you know, very, it, it's very um, minimalist, I guess. To me, it's not that aggressive, if, if that's a thing. <laughs> but she could definitely put like perfumes, you know, any body oils, things like that. And of course, I, you know, I would suggest to her to put some other type of lining there if you want to put any type of oils. But definitely you can put your jewelry in there at the bottom on any shelf, really. And I do go back and I touch it up a little bit because, again, you know, I did have to move some things around. So there were some little bits of glue here and there that I didn't quite see initially. But um, I definitely... Um, would go back and, and adjust that but here it is guys this is my favorite one i tell y'all i always have a favorite one even though i love pink <laughs> this was my favorite because this was just so beautiful and it surpassed my you know thought of what i thought it would be and so i you know i love the way it came together i love the colors of it it's just so farmhouse to me and it's something that I can use all year round. So really guys, you know, if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. If you have a favorite, let me know. If you have not already, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing and comment commenting just know that it's not required only desired because i love to chat with you guys and i hope to see you all in the next video and as i always say before i wrap up fall in love every day every day love if you have an opportunity to open your eyes is the opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day so, with all of that being said, guys, thank you for spending your time with me today. Be safe, be kind, and happy crafting the days away.